I came down to Cape Town in the early 70s and joined Villages. And in those days, all our club rugby was mainly here at Newlands on a Saturday. So that was my first experience playing at Newlands. And then later on, before I left Cape Town, I had the privilege to play a Curry Cup game for Western Province and then moved on to Natal later. I would have got season tickets when we first uh, moved back to Cape Town, which was probably about 30 years ago. I think uh, Newlands is a unique ground. It is, it is a truly a, a rugby stadium. And whether you're playing or a spectator, it's, it's a privilege to be here when the action's on and the crowd goes crazy. It's just a wonderful feeling. The children uh, growing up there was involved with their friends. They used to play rugby on the lawn at home, come here and watch the game right from when they were small, scholar tickets. And, and, and they also became ball boys here initially before they even dreamt about running on the field as players. I grew up uh, not far from the stadium. My father actually played rugby for Western Province. So he brought me here when I was a little girl. So I've been coming to Newlands for just about my whole life. It's electric, and especially if the team is winning. Everybody sits together closely and shouts and screams. The pre-game match would normally be a bit of touch rugby in the garden. And then walking down to the stadium with my folks and then you know, separating from them, going to the scholars, um, meeting up with other friends and, and you know, just having an absolute jaw of a time. You know, Newlands was this sort of aspirational theatre of dreams, in some way untouchable. Now when you're six years old and you're seeing these, these players at sort of eye level, they look like gigantic beasts, you know. And it's, it is the surreal experience and you're waiting, that whole game you're waiting, you want Western Province to win, but you only really watch anything that's right in front of you on the trial line on, on the side you're on, and then you jump over at the final whistle and now you can run on the field. And you've got 20 minutes there, and that's sort of the start of your second half of your most important game. And then it's back home where the game continues, where you're now reenacting the things that you saw. You know, it's great to know that there's, there's highs and lows on a rugby field and in life. And to have your parents there as unconditional support, there's nothing more you can ask for.